Hi, Amy with Fashion Toppings here. Now, I just did a thrift haul video, and I'm so excited about some of the clothes that I got. I'm jumping right in and doing a sewing tutorial on one of the shirts that I got. Now, what I've done so far is I've taken the shirt, which you saw a picture of it at the beginning. I took the shirt, I turned it inside out, and placed it on my dress form. I've done the pinch and pin method to make it uh, more fitted. As you can see, I'm taking almost three inches off of this thing. So I grabbed from the back and the front at the same time so I can keep my seam even. And I've pin, pinched and pinned all the way down the shirt, including the sleeves are huge too. So I continued my line from the arm, arm, uh, from the arm opening down to the armpit, to the waist, and all the way down. And so I've already done that to both sides. I've shown how to do that in the pre previous video, so I didn't want to have to um, start from all the way from scratch to make the, this video a little bit shorter. So, and as you can see, I have a faint white chalk line. I've taken a chalk and marked across all of my pins on the front and the back so that I keep everything even. So my next step, and I've already done that to done it to both sides. As you can see, as you can see, I've already pinned both sides and I made them even. So I did take it off the dress form. I tried it on and I ha still have it a little bit big, but I always like to go um, a little bit more conservative because I can always keep taking it in. But um, So I go a little bit big, try it on, make it smaller, try it on and, until I get it the way I want. And then I'll take it to my machine and I'm going to put a basting stitch. I'm gonna put, that's the long temporary stitch. I'm going to put that in all along my pin lines. And then I'm going to try it on one more time to see if I need to continue making um, more alterations. But let's start with the basting stitch and then try on the shirt and then we'll come back. I have my basting stitches in. I've tried on the dress and this is how much I'm taking in. So you can kind of visualize it. Now it's going to be more fitted. And my sleeves will be a lot smaller too because as you can see, I'm taking quite a bit off the sleeves. I'm leaving the opening wide because I'm going to roll that at the end to have a roll of cuff. But you can picture what it's going to look like because there's my seams. I'm folding back the excess material. So it's going to be more fitted. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to go ahead and put this on my sewing machine. This isn't really a stretch material. It's, it's kind of a t-shirt, but it's not going to stretch very much. So I'm going to use a straight stitch. I'm going to go ahead and put in my permanent stitch. It's a permanent straight stitch right down the area that I just put my basting stitch in. And then once I do that, I'm going to put it back on the dress form so I can cut off all that excess material. Now if you don't have a dress form, remember, you're going to have to do all this pinning while you're wearing the outfit. So you may have to get a friend to kind of help you, especially with the underarm areas. You're going to probably want a friend to kind of help you, or you can place it on the ground and just estimate and just keep trying it on. Now if you do that, the, the straight pins, they fall out so easy when you're taking your garment on and off. You might want to invest in getting some safety pins because then once you pin something in place, it's locked because it has the closure on it and your pins won't be falling out. Let's put it on the sewing machine, get our permanent stitches in down the side, and then we'll cut off the excess material and we'll, then we'll come back and we'll see what's next. Now my permanent stitches are in and it's time to cut off the excess material. So make sure you're cutting um, maybe barely uh, like a quarter of an inch or five eighths of an inch away from your permanent stitch line that you just cut. If you want to do this on the ground, you can, but uh, since I use all my videos on iMovie, I use my laptop, which means I can't videotape anything on the ground. So I am going to cut off all that excess material. And it's up to you. If you have a serger, you'll be able to finish off your edges with a serged finished edge. If you don't have a serger, uh, you can either leave it, but as you can see as I'm cutting the inside, it's already starting to roll. But that's up to you if you want to leave it that way. I mean, it's not going to affect how you wear it. But if you want a more finished edge, take your serger and serge and finish those edges. If you don't have a serger, you can put this on your sewing machine on a zigzag stitch and zigzag right along this excess material. That'll keep it from rolling. So I'm going to continue cutting both sides all the excess material, and then I'll be back. There you have it. We're done. 
I made that big t-shirt into a more fitted little casual dress that I'll wear either plain like this or I might put some leggings underneath this, uh, especially when it starts getting a little bit cooler. But I like the way it fits. I, once again, took about three and a half inches off the side, uh, did the pinch and pin method, and sewed a permanent stitch all the way down the sides and continued it through the arm, the seam up through the arms. I did the arms too, so I shrunk these arms down quite a bit. And then I just rolled it once without putting a, a stitch in. I just rolled it once to have a little bit of a cuff. Now, if the pinch and pin is difficult for you and you don't have someone to help you, take a t-shirt that you like the fit of. Lay the t-shirt on top of this outfit and trace around your t-shirt. That'll kind of show you where your, uh, your basting stitch needs to be. And it's a good starting point because once you have the basting stitch in, then you can start trying it on and keep adjusting from there. So you can always trace your favorite t-shirt on top of this just to get your silhouette down in the size. So if you want your dress to be more fitted, what you can do is this, it's simple. Take and pinch and pin, there you go, to tighten it up and then just make one straight stitch right over the outside of this with the same color thread. So as you can see what it does, it will tighten up and make the back more fitting. So just go ahead and pinch the back material, take, pin it right there, take it to your sewing machine, and then put a straight stitch right across those pleats. It'll hold it in place. That's just one way to maybe dress up the back of the dress. Now, I like to be able to move, and I like it a little bit baggier, and so I'm not going to do that. But if you want it more fitted, just go ahead and pleat the back and make one little stitch across the pleats, and that'll hold it into place. So I hope you like this project. This, if you don't recognize it, it's from the thrift haul that I just did. I was so excited to get started. This is my first project off that thrift haul. My next one is going to be that yellow dress. If you don't remember that yellow dress, it's that gauzy material to the floor, comes out to about here. I'm going to make that hopefully into maybe a high-low skirt, waterfall skirt, sundress. I'm not sure, but that's going to be my next project, so stay tuned for that. So once again, this is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, happy thrifting!